Um, really started in January. Um, I mean, it was a long season. So I spent the majority of the beginning part of the off season focusing on my body. Um, you know, I feel like I'm in a really good place right now. And really, you know, as my throwing reps have continued to grow, um, you know, sort of those phases continue. And I think right now, um, you know, whether it's footwork, whether it's the offense, um, I'm very comfortable in this offense right now. And I think, you know, building chemistry even more with some of the guys that are on field, you know, rebuilding my chemistry with Ronnie, um, you know, maybe some guys that I haven't gotten as many reps with. I think, you know, especially this time right now, that's the time to do it. And um, we're really close right now. And I'm excited to see all that work, you know, come into fruition and us get after it in camp. Um, I think my footwork has changed a lot. I feel like I have a better base right now. Um, I think, you know, really, I, I, I feel really confident in my throwing right now. I, f I think last, as the season goes on, you know, as more balls are being thrown, um, you kind of set, settle into mid-season form. Um, and I think um, this offseason especially, my accuracy has probably been as clean as it's ever been in my career. And um, I'm very confident in my ability right now. Um, I would say just I'm just really excited to see just a big group of guys who have been together for so long for us to I, I want to I want to see success I think everyone else does too um, we got a, a big group of guys who have been playing together for a while um, a lot of guys who have seen a lot of game experience and I think really over the course of my career really with the exception of with Donovan Peoples-Jones, Nico Collins, um, Sean McCune, like guys who have been on the field as much as them, I think this is the most experienced group that I've been around really in my entire career. I think so far, you know, we're finding our way to, you know, what the what that looks, how that feels best for um, really, it's just is there's so much more to being an offensive coordinator than just calling plays and I think um, coach Harbaugh is doing a really good job of balancing the two and those two are being very unselfish they're really two great individuals and um, it's pretty obvious to the team how much they care about their new roles as well and really I'm just really excited to you know continue growing my relationship with both of them I think coach Weiss is very, I mean, he's extremely smart. I think, you know, any situational awareness, um, Coach Weiss is very comfortable in any scenario that we get put in in a football game. I think what he brings to the table as far as um, drawing a place for certain looks, I think he's very comfortable. He's seen a lot. He's seen um, what that looks like from the NFL perspective, and he's able to take that knowledge and give it to us. And, I mean, he's taught me you know, so much as to even what I can expect at the next level. And, um, you know, he's a really good dude. And I know he's got a lot of respect, you know, not just from me, but, you know, from Coach Harbaugh and the rest of the guys. So um, just really looking forward to this season with him. What is he like um, You know, he's very serious, but at the same time, you can joke around with him. I think, you know, Coach Weiss is really laid back. He can... Um, you know, you could share some very personal things with them, and I know a lot of us appreciate that. And um, when it comes to on the field, I think, you know, he's very aware of, you know, maybe he did not play quarterback, but he understands, you know, what it takes to play quarterback as far as the movement, as far as throwing, or he really takes into consideration, you know, our natural feel of the game. And when we're watching film, like, if you move in a pocket a certain way, like, you know, as to maybe just saying like maybe you didn't have to do that or maybe um, maybe less criticism he's more of it's more of like a conversation as to you know why did this happen and how can we do better from this certain play or situation that we faced last preseason a lot different than this preseason for a few reasons you guys had an obvious identity of the last year that's leading up to this year what is 
Yeah, I think you know our identity. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't discovered in spring ball. It wasn't discovered, you know, in, in player led practices as to what kind of physicality that we were going to bring. Or I think you know over the course of the next month, we're going to have a pretty damn good idea of what that's going to look like. And I think as we um, continue through non conference play, we're going to really fine tune that. And, you know, whatever it is, I mean, we're well aware that this team is different. This team is going to maybe do things better or we're going to have a different identity than last season. But whatever that is, our culture will remain the same. And, um, yeah, I just think it's a little early for that right now, but I'm excited to see what it is. Well, yeah, I think, you know, no matter what position you're in, I think if you become complacent, um, you know, you become vulnerable. And I think this whole entire situation has really helped me in that sense that, you know, I have zero complacency as to where, what my situation is and where I am on the depth chart. So if anything, I'm getting better faster than me just sitting in a quarterback room comfortably. So you got to both against Georgia State last year, which people say, like, the best, you know, especially that game. Um, can you explain any different things between the SEC versus, like, the SEC? Um, I mean, not as much. I wouldn't say because I was able to watch Alabama my freshman year and then Georgia this year. I mean, I think we missed plenty of opportunities that game. I'm not going to say that, you know, we didn't belong in that game because we did. But I think, you know, that was an extremely good defense. I mean, as we saw in the NFL draft, I mean, half the team went in the first and second round. So it's not like, you know, we were, we were playing a lesser than average opponent. I mean, they're extremely good team. So I think, you know, us getting that perspective of, look, this is a talent we're going to see. This is, you know, this is what it's going to take if we want to win a national championship. I think that perspective was huge for this team. And it was humbling, and now we know, you know what it looks like. Yeah, I think it helps us a lot. I mean, it gives us definitely more confidence that, look, we've been there. There's less weight on our shoulders as to the stress of, um, you know, we have to do this, we have to, you know, we just, it was just a lot of, you know, in, in a way it was like anxiety as to like, you know, why is Coach Harbon Hotsey, like, we love, like, why does he have to, um, you know, face like the criticism? Because if anyone wants to beat Ohio State, it's Coach Harbaugh, and I can promise you that. But I think, you know, now that we got that, we got that for him, um, I think now that we know what that looks like, you know, we're going to be co even more confident going into that game. I think, you know, a part of being a leader, being um, a member of this team is to make sure that, you know, I, we don't come complacent, not just myself, but as a team. And, you know, I think we have stressed that mentality um, pretty strong this offseason that, you know, Team 143 is a different team. And what Team 142 did last season doesn't really matter anymore. Um, I think, well, they're extremely good. I think I'm very comfortable back there in a the pocket. Um, they definitely have a lot of confidence in themselves, and that's something that stayed pretty consistent that, you know, when it's short yardage, they want us to run the ball. Like, it's not as much of, you know, whoever's in the backfield, whatever it is, they want the coaching staff to put trust in them that, you know, we're going to believe in them to get that first down. And, I mean, they're very similar. I mean, almost the entire starting line, but I think, you know, Andrew Vistardis was a huge part of our offense last season, and, you know, I'm thankful, you know, for what he did, and I'm super excited to see what Olu can do because he is a beast. And, I mean, losing Andrew Stuber, another big part of our offense, but, you know, we have guys who can fill that position as well. And, you know, as camp goes, we'll see who that is. And um, I definitely do not have any fear as to what that offensive line can do.
How do you navigate the the line between the competition with JJ for starting quarterback versus being a teammate and friend? You know, and, the, and you guys were able to do that last year, and, and you've pretty much been in the competition every year since you've been at Michigan for the starting job. Yeah, I mean. I have kind of been in a competition with the exception of my redshirt freshman year, just every single year that I've been at Michigan. And I mean, that's something that's not really foreign to me at this point. So, um, I mean, anything I do is going to be for the sake of the team winning. And um, that's the, what's most important on my mind. And, um, you know, what comes with that is having good relationships, you know, with my teammates. And um, really for me, like I take a lot of pride in, you know, what I bring to the team from a leadership standpoint. So. Um, allowing, you know, you know, negativity or anything like that. I don't think that's healthy for the team or really for myself either. During the offseason, what kind of hot kind of Michigan? Yeah, I think actually a lot of dudes were pretty confident that he was going to stay with Michigan. He was very open about you know what he was doing and. Um, you know, the team respected him. I mean, we love Coach Harbaugh, and we couldn't be happier that he came back. Absolutely. You know, him and Coach Moore have been really working hard as to, you know, making my job easier that, you know, I don't have to worry about some stuff. And I know that's the point. That is really the expectation that Coach Moore wants not just from Olu, but the rest of the O-line, to be able to recognize really the secondary, not just the front. And I think, you know, the more that Coach Moore, you know, works with those guys as well as Olu, um, it's going to make my job easier. And, you know, I'm confident that he's going to do that. And, I mean, mention, you mentioned Andrew, Andrew Bistardis. I mean, me and him had a great connection as, you know, where I'm seeing things and um, what he's seeing. And I think, you know, as me and Olu just continue to get reps, I'm going to tell, like, if really, in the sense, if one of us is wrong, if we're all on the same page, um, if we're all wrong, then we're all right. Yeah, I mean, it was extremely meaningful. And I think, you know, as we're going around Michigan right now, we're able to see the impact that it left, not just with our team, but, you know, the fan base itself and the state itself. I think, you know, a lot of the guys who are, starting to realize, you know, the platform that we have, and especially when Michigan football is winning, you know, what that means for the state and the people in it. And I think, you know, a lot of us have grown an appreciation for that, and we just want to continue um, to do that for our fans and for our state. Um, in a sense, I was surprised to how kind of out of hand I thought it was. I thought the gap was pretty big during that game, and I'm sure, you know, Ohio State didn't feel very good about that. And, you know, I know that the O-line was very confident in themselves going into that game. And, you know, that was our identity last season, was that we're going to be physical. And I do not see that changing. Um, yeah, we've, we have plenty of guys in that room. I think, you know, again, um, we're going to find out here soon. You know, as we go into camp, we're preparing to win football games. We're, spring ball was kind of spent looking at, you know, who, that, who those guys could possibly be. And I think we have a good idea of who our playmakers are going to be this year. But I think, um, you know, H2 was an extremely good player, and I loved playing with H2. But... I am extremely confident in that room.